Hey everybody, welcome back to T-Roy Cooks. We appreciate you joining us once again. As you can see, I got my LSU hat on, got my LSU shirt on. It's football season, and if you're an SEC fan, down in the south, you know what I'm talking about. We love that SEC football. I'm originally from Baton Rouge, so I'm pulling for the Tigers. And this weekend, they're playing the Florida Gators. Y'all know what that means. Yes, I'm cooking up some gator. We're gonna fire up some gator nuggets. It's basically a, 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 the gator tail. We're gonna cube it up, make some uh, little nuggets out of it. We're gonna fry them babies up. So here we go. All right, folks, we're fixing to season these up. Here is my gator meat right there. All right, that's some buttermilk and a little bit of mustard. And I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna mix these two together right here. The shrimp fry and the regular fish fry, but it's, they're both seasoned up. And I'm gonna throw a little more seasoning in there too, but this is what we're gonna batter these up with. So we're just gonna dump both bags down in here. There one. There's the second one. You can see this one's got a little bit more cornmeal and the shrimp fry. So that's the regular fish fry. It's got a little more cornmeal. And the shrimp fry right here, this has more, more flour in it. Anyway, that look pretty good. Kind of mix these up together a little bit. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the slap your mama in there. Just for a little extra something, something. I don't know how much, probably a tablespoon. Looks good. Okay. Now we're gonna bread this, uh, these nuggets. As you can see, see, it's just little nuggets here. Not much to them. And they're all different sizes. Like this one right here, I probably could have cut it down a little bit more, but I didn't. So some of them will be bigger than the other ones, but that's the way we roll. Folks, let's give this a shot. Here's my, my alligator. All ready to go. Oh yeah. I think the oil is probably around 375 or so, maybe three. 85, somewhere in that range. I just measured it a while ago. This should fry up pretty quick. When they start floating really good, they're, uh, they're done, pretty much. Get that fish back through a little bit. All right, these look like they're getting really close. That one's done. Let's pull it off. Pull this one off. Yeah, I think that one may need just a little bit longer. Oh, it's floating pretty good. I think it's probably good. All right, we're going to take it out. We're going to put it over here and let it drain on this paper towel. And uh, I'm going to do the rest of these. We'll be right back. All right, finished with the, the gator tail meat. You may be asking, what's going to go with it, t Roy? I got this original pork appetizers. These are boudin balls, folks. These are authentic Cajun right here from Como's. Yeah, Como Inc. Cajun, Louisiana. Como.com from Bro Bridge, Louisiana. Cajun certified, babe. All right, so we're going to throw these in there, let them cook for a couple of minutes. And uh, drop them in there. 375. These are good boudin balls, man. Boudin balls are a wonderful thing. All right, I'm probably doing like four at a time here. I think there's a. Uh, oh, heck, I don't know. Maybe eight of them in here. So we'll let these go for a couple minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, my boudin balls are done. I'll show you what they look like. There you go. Just a couple of minutes. That's all these need. And I've never had this brand before. We're going to check them out. All right, let me bring all this inside and uh, we'll plate it up. Be right back. All right, everybody. Back inside after we did all this uh, frying up this gator and those boudin balls. So y'all check it out real quick here. That's what we got. Looks pretty nice. It's time for a taste test. And I have had fried gator in my past, but it's probably been 20 years. Let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. That's good. And it doesn't taste like chicken either. It's got its own unique flavor. That's good. These boudin balls. Go check them out. Those look nice. Mm 
You know, this is my first time trying this brand. Hmm. It's alright. I've had better. The flavor's pretty good, but see how that's really fine ground up in there. For boot in, I like a little bit of rice in there. But they, they're pretty good. They've got a good flavor. Got a nice little heat in the back. Anyway, appreciate y'all joining me for this. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Tell everybody you know, T-Roy cooks responsibly. Go Tigers!